As a 14 year old, which books do you recommend I should read? Shout out to wanting to even read at 14 instead of scrolling TikTok like a bot all day. What would you say? I got one, but I would say honestly, at 14, you should read this book called Unscripted by MJ DeMarco. That's like the first book that kind of like broke me out of understanding that I don't need to work a job. It kind of gave me a roadmap of what it takes to start your own business. It helped me realize like what's really possible in the world. Now, at that time, there weren't as many YouTube channels like there are right now, so thankfully we have these resources, um, but that book was huge for me. Um, and of course, you could dig deeper into the Bible as well if you want to learn more about the truth of society and, and how to actually be a better man, better human. Um, but that would be the two that I would recommend. Bible first, and then for money, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Yep. Yeah. The goaded why? book. Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Like why goaded, like in your opinion, like why, why is it your first to go to? Um, the, the Rich Dad, Poor Dad, is, it just explains like the most fundamental concept of money, um, and it, it makes it very easy to understand. So I always thought I was dumb, but I understood that book. Um, basically, people, the concept is you have to put your money into things that make you money while you're not actively there. And then if you get enough of those things that make you money, um, your money will grow and you can put that money back into it and then that's how you escape. So I just, that's where I understood that concept and I was like, oh, that makes sense. That was the first book I need I to read. get yeah. rental properties. I need to get businesses. I need to do that stuff. So that's like the turning point. Yeah. I don't really think personally, I don't, like I'm so glad that I didn't start my journey until I was already late through high school. So I, I don't know. I would say, yeah, Rich Dad, Poor Dad's great. But I honestly think a lot of kids need to just be kids in the moment. And like, I'm so glad that I developed just as a normal person prior to becoming, you know, somewhat successful, like just going through high school, <clears throat> chasing girls, having fun with my boys. That's so fun. And it's just like a different level of fun where you have literally no care in the world that I think people don't understand when you get to our position, there's just constantly so much stuff and it's not like we don't enjoy it, but it's just like, you know, maybe delay it a little bit and just enjoy your youth because it gets a little bit hectic in or, your 20s. Or just don't let it take over most of like your life. Yeah. Like don't make your entire life. Like about you, you being, being 14 guy. and not making 10 grand a month, like you're not right. unsuccessful, right? That's yeah. fine. That's cool. Like, just and, go and the play. narrative, the narrative, I think, you know, I see a lot of kids hit me up, they're 16 and they, they, they feel like they're in a, in this dark cloud space because they're comparing themselves to people I, bro, I have kids that are 15 comparing themselves to me. <laughs> like, why would bro, you what were we doing do at 15? It's, it's like, like, dude, it's sad, when bro. I was 15, I was watching football matches on TV. Yeah. I was out here, like, fishing, hanging out with my boys, playing. Yeah. Like, that's what I was doing. Like, yeah. I wasn't out here online watching, you no know, YouTube. Every once in a while, I would come by, like, some YouTube ads, and I was like, oh, what is this? I, would, I didn't even know what a YouTube ad was back in the mm -hmm. day. So I think people are super connected, super plugged. But to answer the question on the book, you remember last night when you texted me data sets? You're like data sets in like the Zen mode, and I told you I was going to share something to you about the spiders. The spiders, yes. Can I share I something with you about the spiders? About. Yes. Tell me about the spiders and the audience. So here's the thing. It, there's everything is information. Everything is information, whether it's through a textbook, whether it's uh, you know on television, or whether you're perceiving it. Everything is just information that's being received, mm -hmm. and you're processing it. The problem is people don't know how to process information because they don't know how to think. So people can read a book and not understand it because they haven't developed the mind to understand the reading, mm -hmm. right? That's why so much of this content can go over people's head because they lack what I call introspection, which is your ability to look inside, right? So intro comes from inside, inside. spect comes from spectacle, your ability to, right, to see. So introspection is your ability to see from within. And I think a lot of people, bro, they don't spend time um, doing a whole lot of introspection and thinking. So something that I like to do is nice. learning from my surroundings and my environment. You know, like a lot of people, they're exposed to a lot of information, but they just go through the motions and the actions like mm -hmm. bots instead of understanding why is this happening? So I'm walking through the forest one day, as I love to do. Yeah. I recommend everybody literally be able to either sunbathe every, every single day, or do some grounding, uh, or expose yourself to the to nature, right? You are plugged and connected on social media 24 seven. I think it's extremely important. Go connect to the world. You need to go connect to Touch reality. Grass, guys. Yeah, to reality. So I'm walking and in, in a cobweb hits me. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> and, and I'm walking through my trail and then I start looking up and I see this massive cobweb, massive cobweb. And on the side of the cobweb in the corner, there's a spider waiting. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, 
the spider just built an entire ecosystem understanding the principle that if it positions everything in place that eventually the food will come and that you don't have to chase the meal you just have to position yourself and do the things that you have to do set access y z a b connect them all together and then once your work is done you sit and you wait you put yourself in a position you put yourself in the position to eat yeah. people are out here chasing the meal yeah so i looked at the spider i'm like oh that's very clever let me do the same thing